digging in to try it again. J.D. Martinez. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. J.D. Martinez. Curveball that time, not even close. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And that'll get down for a base hit. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third. And as we show you the Mariners leaderboard you can see right there his total currently second best on the Seattle roster. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. First pitch of the at bat on its way skied in the air to straightaway left Davis is under it makes the play one away and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up the right fielder number one gone now in the Mariners Giancarlo third inning Stanton. and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. First offering on its way. He's running towards second. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Martinez is on his way home. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with the runners in scoring seven, position. Shortstop. And he does it again Corey here with a double. Singer. Tack on another RBI to his season total. We see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both a left hander and a righty that start to loosen up. Stepping in now, Corey Seeger. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Davis comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Now batting. Ready for another Third chance. Baseman. Ryan Healy. Ryan Healy. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Canna has got it and the side is retired. M's pick up a run on two hits. On now to the top of. Leading off for Oakland. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. So now it's Mark Canna. First baseman, Mark Canna. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. The knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. A high fastball is in there. And he will get there at first, so he reaches on the drop third strike. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout but he's aboard on the drop third strike. 
Here's Chris Davis now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. And that one stayed too low apparently. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Mm, he's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now well, Matt, Matt, that's the sixth game. Matt's he's got a base hit in now. You've got to start a streak somewhere. Oh. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging the bat pretty good. Stephen Vogt will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Look, this is a big half inning. Look, they're down a little bit right now, but if they get something going, it's still early in the game. This is a huge inning and a huge at bat. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Your D. Gordon please. is going to come in now this and take over the following Mayor. the injury. Now playing second base. Number nine. Here comes the right fielder, Dean Jose Batista. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The right fielder, number 19. First pitch coming. Here Jose it is. Bautista. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Well, here we sit. Two on, two outs, two strikes. Look, they start off looking. Got him looking. And that'll do it. The inning is over. A's threatened, but leave him.